she like, why you put the whole paint in a two liter? Be that bitch from the back, and my fucking wife beat her. Paint a paint up butter seats, and that bitch five seats. Sun roof, and that bitch come with hella features. La la pipe, sound like you should come quit you. Back in high school, I had more money. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Fly Like Greg, and I'm back again with another freaking video. As you can see, it's cold as I don't know. I'm out here bundled up, got the cold on, got the hat on. It's cold as I don't know what. It's getting to that winter time, but today it's like 30 degrees, but that ain't about nothing. A little cold ain't gonna stop nobody. But as first things first, I wanna say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. Hope you spent time with your loved ones and family. Hope everything went smoothly for you guys. But today we are doing the five things that I hate about my 2021 Dodge Charger Wide Body Scat Pack. Oh, like I said, I really do love this car, so it was really hard to find at least five things. So I'm gonna be picking at the smallest things possible. But I love the car, and maybe I'll do a five things I love about the car. But today we're gonna do the five things I hate. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna go with is I don't know if you can see it as well, but these halogen light bulbs that it comes with you pay almost 55 maybe you know up to 60 it depends on what you got on the wild body but pay that much for a car and it comes with these yellow headlights what? how good it's showing out here but everybody know the, the stock headlights for the charges of these ugly yellow halogen light bulbs hopefully dodge fixes that in the future number two it's going to be, let's see. This interior is possibly one of the worst interiors. I know, like I said, it's a muscle car, but like this is cloth. It should at least have some type of leather. Like even my Honda, I only paid 30,000 for, has better uh, interior than this. Besides that, the interior sucks. I'm glad that when I did get it, it came with that, but like I said, all Mopar cars has that interior. Even my girl's Grand Cherokee has the same interior. It just has a different dag on steering wheel. Third thing is going to be the stock rims. They're not bad. They're definitely not bad, but it's just, they could have came with some more fire. Not even the wheels, it's not even the wheels really. It's the color of the wheels that they, they gave us. They gave us like, they could have just gave us some nice, you know, shiny gloss black rims, but no. They gave us, well, actually, you know, mine's a little dirty, but they gave us these like gunmetal, uh, gunmetal color rims, which I actually hate. If you got all these black accents on the car, like, you know, the trim of the windows, stuff like that. Even sometimes, even the, um, the spoiler on the car, the grill is black. Everything is black. But of course, they want to give us gunmetal wheels. I mean, they, they're cool and all, but it's just not what the best thing to be if you got all these black accents and your dad going wheels or freaking gum metal when they clean because right now they're dirty the dirty don't know what but they'll get clean i wish i would have took a video when it was clean but you know maryland weather one day is cold one day is warm one day is rain one day is snow the fourth so, thing that i really hate is going to be these little side markers i wish it was nighttime so you can see but there's actually just one little light bulb here. This whole thing does not light up. What? What the fuck? Just one little light bulb that shines, but I'm not understanding when you had this whole thing lit up. It's a big old strip. Why can't you light it all the way up? And it's the same way actually on the reflectors up here. If you can see just one little light bulb, once again, the whole thing does not light up, which I don't understand. But they had some replacements on Amazon or I think you could just Google it and you'll be able to uh, switch them out. So that's what actually I'm going to do. And finally, the fifth thing that I hate about this car is going to be the gas mileage. Of course, it's a, it's, a, it's a muscle car, so I wasn't looking for the best thing anyway. Like I said, I'm just going to nitpick on the smallest things out there. But yeah, the gas mileage, the miles per gallon for this is horrible. I'm on literally going to the gas station literally every 
three to four days. I heard some people was only doing two, but I'm getting lucky with doing three to four days. Um, especially if you're driving in sport mode or track mode most of the time, you're filling up every two days. But me, I get away with doing eco just a little bit because I mean, I don't need to be out here speed racing every time. So that's going to be the five things that I hate about my 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack wide body. But until then, let's end this with a cold start. All right, George, your boy, follow like Greg and catch me on my next video. Peace.